Hi, this is Randy Moggins from Off Planet Radio, Off Planet TV at offplanetradio.com. And uh, I am thrilled to have a live report from Standing Rock today with somebody I count as a dear friend, fellow traveler, and a brave soul who is now dug in deeply entrenched and dealing with the spiritual warfare of what is going on at Standing Rock as a result of the uh, Dakota Access Pipeline movement. And uh, she is Christine Anderson. Her and Claudia Ayers run earthandpass.net. And she is here with us live from Standing Rock. Christine, hopefully your camera is going to come back. And I know the bandwidth is a little low. Okay. Hi, All right. Christine. Hi, Hi darling. Uh, you want to do a little intro? We, we actually already did the intro. Okay. I'll just spl- okay. I'm going to splice everything together because I know that while it's very cold up there, the heat's on right now, and I know there's a lot of action. So give us an update on what's going on at Standing Rock right now, Christine. Okay. Well, I'm actually at Sacred Stone Camp. So I'm a distance from Mochete Sekouin, which is where most of the action takes place. Mm-hmm. Um, that's right where the barricade starts. And apparently there's been an action going on today. I've been hearing bullhorns for a couple of hours. Maybe because of the snow, I get a real clear. They've been saying, keep south of the bridge, keep south of the bridge, keep south of the bridge. And I've been trying to get a live feed. I found one small one. I'm not really sure. CNN is also on the ground today. They just did a, a, a live feed. Um, it was good. pretty good, but they did not touch on, of course, water cannons, rubber bullets, maize, pepper spray, and all the illegal felony charges against all of the water protectors. Right. So... Uh, right now, the bullhorn is sounding very uh, polite, which they have never done before. They're saying, please stand back from the bridge. We don't want an altercation. Um, but this isn't going to stop here. Uh, you know, there's an action or a prayer meeting or a peace walk or a silent prayer every day here, at least once a day, sometimes three times a day. And this is what I wanted to share with you, Randy. I, uh, You know, I'll keep an eye on what's going on. Um, there's a lot of, you know the business, right? right? You've been in this for a long time. Okay, so Myron Dewey is one of the essential, vital reporters here. He has a, a Facebook page right. called Digital Smoke Signals. Right. And uh, Digital Smoke Signals is the name of his Facebook page. Myron Dewey, M-Y-R-O-N-D-E-W-E-Y. Now, he's a very, very educated man, and he's very uh, aware, very polite, non-aggressive. Uh, he uh, speaks fluent Lakota. I just heard right now, it's not quite verified, that they just took down all his videos off of Facebook. Uh, what he's done and what many others have, there's a whole group of uh, people out here now with uh, media drones. So we're able to get feeds uh, of flying right over the drill pad, up over the uh, sacred grounds where the um, DAPL workers have installed. I wish I could give you a view right now at my window. Uh, there's these major floodlights on the camps all night long. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, And um, I've been the only, I haven't been front line, although I did go down the day that they put a bridge across on Thursday. Uh, I want to try to evoke it for the listeners. I walked down to the Cannonball River, and just across a little outfeed of the river were all these water protectors. And to my right is a small camp called Hayoka Camp, and they were drumming and chanting. Randy, the energy was so much force of love and prayer. It's very difficult when you're not here to pick it up, although I think some people do. This is deep ceremony. The seven sacred fires have been lit. This is humanity's stand. This is right where it is. Yes, absolutely. And and as we were praying there and as this was going on, people crossed the river. They started going up the butte back to their uh, sacred grounds. And the Dapple workers and the mill, there was Morton County Sheriff's. Uh, there were other vehicles that are unrecognizable. The DAPL uh, militarized, hired, mercenary police force, okay, they drive these big black SUVs and these big black uh, pickup trucks with blacked out windows. They're very recognizable. 
Uh, there were National Guard up there. I was observing snipers on the hills far away, but I've got binoculars. So that day was a turning point because even though the people crossed the bridge, there were canoes, medics in the water, uh, there was no violence that day. There was absolutely no violence that day. They had a hose up on the hill, but it didn't have enough pressure to even go halfway down the hill. And this is a message that for me personally, Randy, I want to share with people. There are some of the most incredible, deep, powerful beings on the ground here. It brings tears to my eyes, dear. It brings tears to my Mm -hmm. daily because I'm seeing it and I'm living it. And, you know, even when the nerves get a little tense here, there's no fear. And that's that's the element, friends. No fear. No doubt. No fear. Everything that anybody needs here is given. We're in a free society here. Thanks to all the donations. It's phenomenal. I mean, the amount of donations that have come in, uh, the people here now at Standing Rock are sending out uh, donations now to the reservations, to the schools, to the local communities. That's awesome. So that's that's incredible. It is incredible. And you, wherever you walk, you meet somebody, you know, that will shake your hand. Can I help you? Uh, the cooks, oh, my God, the cooks, my hat's off to them. You know, they work around the clock in freezing cold conditions, feeding hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people a day. And what I, I what boggles my mind <laughs> is that more people, especially those that are in the alternative media world that have been there for a long time, don't really understand what's going on here. It's like they're ignoring it. A lot of them. I know you're not. Um, but a lot are. And maybe you have something to say to that. I wish I was there. I have searched my mind. I have searched my resources. Um, I have commitments. I have pleaded with heaven for some way to get there because Mm -hmm. if I could be there and still meet my obligations and responsibilities, I would be there. Right. Um, I hold out that that could still happen. Um, But in terms of the, the issues that we're dealing with, look, we're not even being served by the margins of mainstream media. Um, I, see the media manipulation that's going on, specifically some of the footage that came out from Democracy Now! and um, how they have staged certain things to misrepresent what is actually going on on the ground there. And I don't hold out a whole lot of hope that the mainstream media is going to serve the cause well. It appears as though the numbers are sufficiently attractive now to get media attention. My problem with the whole thing is communicating the message and that's why you and i are talking christine you are the voice for hundreds thousands of people on the ground right now to this audience wherever they are and however they they hear this okay and i see this too randy and i guess what happens to me on a personal level i have many personal friends uh that i've made over the years as you have and some of them are mutual and they're ignoring this completely and that is what I don't understand. You know, uh, I send out uh, uh, messages on Facebook sometimes to over 100,000 people, mm-hmm. and maybe one or two will answer. Now, there's some incredible Facebook pages. Listen, I've got a woman named Barbara Hall on the, you know Barbara, right? I know Barbara, yes. And I okay, follow sure. Barbara on Skype and on Facebook right now. Okay. So Barbara's on the phone right now. Barbara, is something you want to share? Yes, uh, I do. There is an action on the bridge right now. I myself heard the full horns and they're threatening to use weapons. And then the feed was cut. So you said to interrupt you if something important was going on, and I consider this important. Yeah, it is. And and this is the problem that we're facing here, Randy, is that when something's going to go down, they cut feeds, they block cell phones, mm-hmm. uh only because of the snow and the blizzard that we had for the past few days have the planes stopped flying. We're having a low-flying plane all the time, no lights on, breaking all the FAA regulations. There's been helicopters in the sky, unmarked, no markings. 
Are you seeing right. any? Are they, are they are they running any drones up there? Uh, well, they run the media drones. Okay. I'm okay, and I'm sure they run drones from the other side. Uh, but you know, you know what a mercenary soldier is. Right. You know how he's trained. You know what he's here to do. And they are looking for only soldiers uh, or National Guard or workers now that want to be here voluntarily. Because what was happening is that the people that were on the DAPL side, they were seeing the injustice and some of them quit. So what we are facing right now is a, uh, is a force. I'll just call it what it is. It's a black force. It's an occupation Most, force is what it is. It, it is. It is. And, you know, it's um, what, Barbara, do you see anything else right now? I do not, so I can hang up. Okay, I just want to know if you got confirmation if they took down uh, Myron Dewey's footage, his videos. Yeah, I can't find confirmation on that at the moment, but I'm still looking. Okay. Um, I'll do okay. anything I can to try and retrieve those videos and, and get those out some other way. Um, Barbara? I'm I'm monitoring what you're doing and um, uh, good work. Thanks for thanks for being a, a signal relay in the events. <laughs> no problem. The video that they took down of the monitoring, the um, address of it is still on the page, but when you click it, it's not available any longer. Were they only Facebook videos? Or were they also on YouTube? Because I think the one I saw this morning. <laughs> was YouTube. If they're taking okay. them down off of YouTube, that means they're pushing for a media blackout. Um, I'm sure both of you are aware that you... Sorry, this content isn't available. Oh, sorry, Randy. Okay. Okay. So Barbara says that it says if you click on it, this content is not available. There's another thing too, uh, Randy, just uh, about a half an hour ago, Myron Dewey posted update uh he's uh on the road he saw dapple vehicles and a whole bunch of other uh on the reservation land so this could be a very critical night and you are aware that this is um well we're five days away right now this is november 30th you are about to be joined by two thousand yes members yes. of our military service people, veterans who are coming to form a peaceful, unarmed militia as a frontline defense for the people who are part of the action. Uh, we're aware of that. We've been following it. We're following the whole thing. We have uh, vets here. For me, being on the ground, I've met many, many vets, Brandy, and they are well prepared. Uh, you know, it's really great to have them around. And I don't mean just on the front line, behind the scenes, too. Okay? They're supplied. And they're here to help everybody. So, I mean, they're, they're a huge part of this. I mean, this is an indigenous people's movement. But I always like to say, if you're of the earth, you're an indigenous being. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And that's where we... Yes, Barbara, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Well, as we always say here, Randy, and you're with us tonight, you feel your strength, man. I feel your heart so deep. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is the moment when we really go into deep prayer. All right. This is where we just bring all of that force forward. We call on the ancestors. We call on the spirit world. We call on all beings to prevent any more harm. Now, did she say there was a? This was the drill. Was that what she? I, I it was. It was a little difficult. Yeah. To hear. Okay. Well, it yeah. was. A, it was a very short message. I'll just repeat it, Barbara. Uh, it was a very short message that Myron Dewey put out about what thirty minutes ago, uh, uh -huh. and it just said drill. And he saw on high, uh, North Dakota Highway One Thirty Four, uh, there were uh, dapple vehicles. And what else, Barbara? Yes. Oh, that drill. 
So okay. they're actually bringing in boring equipment, just to clarify oh, this. Yeah. Yes, the, uh, the uh, equipment's on the ground. The pad's been built. Okay. Uh, what we haven't seen, unless you can clarify, Barbara, is if on the other side of the river they've got the counter. They have to meet halfway. They have the drill pad also built on the opposite side of the river. They do. Well, I've seen that in drones. Yes. Okay. Barbara, I have a question for you since we've got Randy here recording this. Um, I mentioned to you the other day one of uh, the deeper vision uh, quests that we've been on. And because I'm here, Randy, I mean, and I'm living on the earth and I'm walking with everybody, I pick up stuff. Right. And um, I had this incredible feeling, you know, of, well, it was just, it was the wolf and the eagle, eagle world. And it was that um, the drill... I mean, this is a big thing. The drill has to be stopped peacefully, either by the elementals, by the elements, or by our prayer. Yeah, absolutely. All of absolutely. Yeah, I'm feeling and, the urgency in my solar plexus yeah. right now. Okay. And so, Barbara, you looked up into the drill, and you said that under certain temperatures it cannot operate. Or could you clarify that? Well, now, what was interesting today watching some of my room's footage we do it friends however we pray uh you know i think it's a time that and it, it's also for all of humanity it's our own awakening to who we are our power to what we are capable of through prayer and love now i i i, I can't stress this enough and i said this in the interview that i did uh, a couple of weeks ago with james martinez where we announced the um, the, the call for the veterans to come into Standing Rock. Again, reminding people, we're not calling for our militia. We're not calling for veterans to come in with arms. We're calling for a peaceful group of military people, ex-military people, veterans to come in to be frontline defenders for the activists on the ground. So I said at that time, this is it. This is the next American Revolution, or it will be the next American Civil War. And I don't want to be over dramatic about that because I don't like either of the war images. But the truth of the matter is, we are in a war. This is a spiritual war. And I think, I think we'd, we'd all like to keep it that way. Because at this point, we're sort of, we're sort of at least level, if not superior in terms of spiritual power, because of the fact that truth bores into the human soul and eventually even these very aggressive steroided up mercenaries begin to get the sense that they're not really on the right side of history anyway right uh that's really well said and um it it, it is it, it it is that and i've seen them break too randy that day that i told you about uh sitting down there by the river in deep deep prayer I was looking at them with binoculars and I watched their stances change and I watched some of them wiggle and get uncomfortable and turn away because you're right. Truth, truth. And I, I've been saying this again and again, truth will take down the walls. Truth will, yes. because truth is truth and it's absolute. Okay. When you hit that ring of truth, it's an absolute. It's undeniable. And I will do everything I can as one person with anyone else to try to continue to get this message out. What you both, you and I both know, Christine, is that this is a battle line drawn for preserving our planet. We don't need to run these pipelines. We don't need this carbon-based energy anymore. That was the point of the show that James Martinez and I did, was to underscore mm -hmm. the fact that we can, and in fact, do have today, right now, ready to go, low energy nuclear radiation units that can be put into service of humanity that mean we can stop draining the lifeblood of this planet. We can stop polluting it. We can stop trashing our oceans. We don't need uranium. We don't need oil anymore. And we can stop running our pipelines 
through the heart and the soul of this beautiful planet, our mother Gaia, that we are killing with our actions. Mm. I so agree. And I so agree, Randy. And I feel like I am so blessed. I mean, what flows through me in constant is gratitude. Gratitude to our mother, to our father, to all that is given to us. We Scarcity it was a lie. It's always it's been always a lie. It's always been a lie, yes. And, you know, I was right before I came here to Standing Rock. The day, matter of fact, I made the decision to come. I met a young man in my hometown in Mexico. And he's been in the Cash Foundation. And he left because he didn't want to do the hierarchical thing. Mm -hmm. But he was there. One of their teachers. He's teaching me how to make zero energy devices. Thousands of people all over the world are making their own devices. They're using plasma energy. And when he said it, he goes, it's out of the bag. It's in the hands of thousands. And what he does, which is so fabulous, he's making it simple. He goes, I have to make this so simple that a child can do it. And I just, you know, and that, that on, that's the other side of this, you know, and why do people hang on to oil? Why do people hang into the matrix? Because they're afraid. And the, the voice and the message of Standing Rock and mine and yours and Barbara's and all of ours is that the answers are already here. It's always it's been a, here because everything uh -huh. is energy. The energy's always been yeah. here. You know, yes. if there's one thing that I think we all agree, we have been dumbed down. We have had a lot of our, our, our circuitry switched off and we've been led through this dark matrix for hundreds of thousands of years now into believing that we're dependent on somebody else to give us the things that we have within ourselves and the ability to construct by the power of our imaginations and our love. And this is the point in history where this has to manifest. We have to begin to manifest this. This is prophecy, Randy. Okay, this is living prophecy. Yes, and it is. Each, each of us is a living prophecy. I, I would I some, uh, just one one thing because it's I in the observant self in the zero point self in that all present self we already know the outcome and it is up to us through our imaginations through our walk through our truth to bring this forward each of us there's not one of us that isn't connected to another Barbara you were going to say something yeah, I'm so sorry that you were pausing. Um, wow, this is this, this is just interesting synchronicity. Um, the live feed that they just cut was being done by Chris Turley. Oh my God! Chris mm -hmm. Turley, a veteran, just finished walking over 200 miles to Standing Rock. He just arrived and was on that bridge, and that was him getting the live stream, and then and then they cut it. So I just wanted to share that. Thank you. How inspirational. Thank you. I don't know if you followed Chris Turley, Randy. I'm familiar with what he's doing. I'm not directly following him, but I know who he is. Um, so right. you said he just walked in 200 miles and just arrived. Yes. And he is beauty in action. Is This is a time for us to be beautiful again. Yes. To embrace ourselves again. And and this is this can't... Be, I don't feel, Randy, when I look... I know that the answer is already right in front of us. And if anyone that listens to you and Barbara and myself today, it's, it's, a, it's a step. It's one step out of fear, one step out of fear. And I really want people to hear my voice and hear what is being experienced here. This is an emergence. This is organic life itself. It's primal. It's raw. It's people of every walk of life. People that lived on the streets are here. People that have suffered from autism are here. People that have suffered and been suppressed for so long, they're here. And so you have this humanity here. All of us are represented. And it's working. It's working here. It, it, it's so phenomenal to be part of this. Um, and if, even if you can't be here... This is where the media is. We are the media. We are. Your voice, my voice, Barbara's voice, all our voices rising in a chorus right now. This is the media. And you're right. The big organizations, they will spin it. 
I'm going to always... I'm going to do something I very rarely do. I'm going to correct your language because something dropped into me. We're not the media anymore. We're the direct. It's time to get rid of the frickin' media and become the direct. Right now, the conversation that you and I have in Christine with Barbara is direct. Even if there's a time delay on this, I'm going to try and push this, this, this audio, this video out as quickly as possible, and we're going to go direct. And from now on, we're going to be direct, and we're going to get rid of the media. Okay. I, I no totally, more middleman. No more media. This is our voice, and you're right. It is direct. This is direct Yay. from my heart, Barbara's heart. These are Randy's words heart. spoken outside of time. These are words that were spoken before in ages past that are being spoken from the future and that are now being brought into the now, whenever that is when those words make impact. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so beautiful, Randy. <laughs> Oh, I'm just getting flashes. Look, I'm plugging into your energy right now. I can't tell you the high that I have right now as I'm sitting here talking to you. I feel incredibly connected. Um, my heart cries to be there right now. And I, I, I'm literally, I'm very emotional right now about that. I, I love that, Randy. You're going to be here. You know that. And so is Barbara. But we're all going to come at the right time. Because if there, this is being orchestrated by a grand universal intelligence. It is so beautiful to watch it unfolding. And I have in me no longer any judgment, anything of anybody else's in their time. Yeah. You see, yeah. we're like waves. We're like waves. And we're just going to keep coming and coming and arriving. And even if you're not here on the ground at Standing Rock, you're right here with us right now, Randy. Oh, I get you it too. I'll be astral projecting in as as often as I can. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that frequency. Okay, and you know you're welcome in my tent anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so blessed. You know, I swear I'm so blessed. I was given a tent. This is what happens here. Okay, my tent. I don't know how many days ago. I've lost track of time. A few days ago, before the snow came, I was uh, climbing out of my tent. Somebody had given it to me. And just as I was climbing out, the whole thing collapsed. Oh. I was halfway out the door, and the wind blew over my tent. <laughs> and, and you know, I'm sort of going, oh, well, that was really fitting, right? Um, and so I look around, and right across, right behind me, this beautiful stand-up Kodiak tent had been set up by three guys from San Francisco. So I walked over. One guy was there. And I go, oh, you know, do you, do you think I could buy your tent? <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> Well, we're donate it. And I go, well, could you donate it to me then? And they did. And uh, nice. then I met this other man uh, five days ago. who was standing up by the porta potties. And I said, you look like you know something. And, he, you know, he had these dark shades on. And he spent five days here, totally winterized it. I have a snow wall. I have tarps over it. I've got a propane heater that was given to me. This is what's happening here, Randy. It's so, you, you, need, an, you need something, and somehow through the ethers, somebody brings it to you. Ladies walked up and they said, you need a lantern, and gave me an awesome lantern. Somebody else walked up and said, I think you need a snow shovel, and gave me a snow shovel. And, but it's not just me. You see, it's happening to everybody, and that's the quantum effect that's going on. You know, I've had this conversation with a number of people and it came up on a show recently. We have enough. We have sufficiency. We've manufactured ourselves to death. There is sufficiency in our culture right, right now and abundance. And I think what you're doing right now is you are bringing in this era of abundance, this era of us not worrying about whether we have coin of the realm to purchase the next goods. We have what we need at the moment. We need it because it's provided because all things are given by source, by creator. Yes, that's so true. And you talk about abundance. We have decadence in our culture. Yes. Decadence. You go into any of these stores and I look at them and this, I know, I know this in myself. I know it about, we know this about uh, energy transfer. We know this about the back end fields up in Canada where they're fracking to bring this oil in. They're broke. They're broke. They're bankrupt. Where's the money coming from? All right. I go into the stores. They're so full of stock and there's not hardly a shopper. I'm going, these companies, these corporations are running deficit. All of those goods, 
okay? You, it's just, I look at it, and then I come back here to camp, and I see the overflow here, too. Yes, we do have enough. We have enough for the transition. This is I, the transition. I think it's interesting you brought up fracking, that they cannot get, gas prices, oil prices, up high enough to justify the cost of fracking. In fact, no. um, if you look right now, um, gasoline prices are floating here. They, got up, they go up, they go down, but they, they are not going in the realm of what would be required to justify doing these extreme violent forms of, of mining such as fracking and, and uh, you know, all of these other horrible processes that they're using. So mm -hmm. it, it seems like it seems like creation right now is exerting market pressures as well, which is really interesting. Yes, exactly. That's what I mean. The divine hand or the universal intelligence field. This is what's guiding all of this. And really what any individual needs to do is tap in enough to listen to it and observe it because it will blow your mind. It will inspire you. It will lift you as we are all lifting each other. And this oil line thing, this uh, 185,000 unattended oil spills, you know, these stands, Standing Rock, but Mississippi stand, Ohio stand, uh, you know, I know in Mexico, they're piping Mexico. It's like it's everywhere. It's everywhere. So where we stand here, we stand for everyone. It's for everyone. It's for all of humanity. And I am honored to be here, Randy. I'm honored to be speaking with you today and having Barbara holding her and my cell phone right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Barbara, feel free to, to chime up there if there's anything you want to add to this as well. Well, I just had to, I just had to laugh because CNN finally showed up in camp with their big trucks and their big... Um, whatever you have, whatever you call dish on top. And this Chris Curley that arrived is actually a Native American gentleman. And in the comments, I'm just scrolling through, and, and people go, oh, someone should tell CNN to cover this. <laughs> mm -hmm. But of course, they just made it just a beautiful story, and they just did uh, cover something about the time he arrived. Mm -hmm. No mention. It is all interesting, but of course, CNN, I watched their live feed, and, you know, the lady was clearly moved by being at, at Ochete Sacramento. I mean, she was moved. She was moved. But they're not telling the whole story, right? And that is the problem with, with the mainstream. It's like, okay, well, here, she, she, she could feel the beauty. You watched her feel it. Uh, but they're not reporting on the horrible human rights abuses or the, or, or what's been done. So hopefully, hopefully, I don't like that word, throw that word out. CNN, Fox News, or whoever out there, this is the story, and they know it. And I think that there will be more of that coming. This, there couldn't be a more perfect moment for this. We are in the interim between governments. Um, mm -hmm. Mr. Obama, clearly a lame duck president, has been for you know the better part of a year. Mr. Trump... Uh, is attempting to assemble his government right now. And I don't know what that's going to look like. To be quite honest, I'm not that concerned about it because I think everything that came before this and everything that comes after it is going to be defined by the stand that's being taken by the Lakota Sioux people, by the, by the people who are on the ground and the souls who are doing the spiritual warfare at Standing Rock in South Dakota. I, I really see this as the defining moment. It's not the election. It's not the next government. It's what happens there and what happens now. Yes, I, I totally agree with you on that, Randy. If we, could harvest, if we could harvest the emotions and the energy, all of which was misspent, into the election and so much of it was so horribly divisive and 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 hurtful and if people could just now get a glimmer of the truth of what this means to not just the native people not just to the people in South Dakota but to all the people in this nation and even in the world because this is a, this is a sovereign nation standing up for the land something that has not happened. People need to remember that for the first time in a hundred years, the Crow crossed lines and began to meet with the Sioux 
that 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 has been warring factions for over a hundred years. They crossed those lines and they made peace with each other to this end. Right. And so peace prevail on earth. And this is also for all the atrocities being committed right now in Palestine and Syria. All right. This yes. is humanity again. Because the same elements, Blackwater, you know Blackwater is yes, here, right? Absolutely, I know. <laughs> Blackwater. Okay, who's behind Blackwater? I want to know the answer to that question, because those are the ones that are, are slaughtering the Palestinians and the Syrians, too. And they took out Iraq, and they took out Libya. Who are these beings? I don't even know if they deserve the name of being. But this is what we're up against, humanity. You, you know, this is a common cause. This is about heart. This is about our children. This is about our grandchildren. This is about leaving something on this beautiful jewel of a planet. You know, it goes everywhere, Randy. I know you know that. It yes, goes everywhere. Yes, yes. Now, the, the, right now, the veil of tears that's been shed for humanity is centered in Standing Rock. Yeah. And it cries for all nations. It cries for all people. Yeah. And it cries for the justice that was shed from the, the trail of tears and the history of the taking of this land from the native people and what they have suffered uh, as a result of treaties that were abrogated over 100 years. This is standing up for natural law and it's standing up for natural rights and to reestablish a treaty and a bond with the planet itself and not recognizing these corporate governments and their mercenary armies' ability to ride roughshod over the planet or over the people who are part of it. Beautiful. I'm, I'm crying right now, Randy, because if I could only express the beauty of the people I've met here. I sat at the youth council. These young people, all right, they're pure. They're pure. All right. There are so many pure beings on the planet right now, and they're so beautiful. And when I look at the native culture, the Lakota, and I look at the Cheyenne, and I look at these people, and I go back through the history books, and I look at the, their dances and the way they dressed, this is beauty. This is human beauty. And and that is what's been desecrated. Yeah. Yes, very and much. It, yeah. So thank you so much for giving me this time to express this. I don't know how deep sometimes it goes but from the deepest well of all our sorrows comes our joy i amen. can't i amen i can't add anything to that christine thank you for blessing us thanks for reporting um thanks to barbara hall who was coming in and on background and um we're going to try and get this out so people can hear it and respond to it i'll share it out far and wide on youtube and facebook and my thank blessings you. to all of you out there uh, I hope I can join you. And if not, I'll be there anyway. You always are right here, right now, Randy. Thank you. Thanks, Christine. That's going to. Barbara, one go quick ahead. Thing to add. One quick thing to add. Okay, the video that they have taken down on Myron's site is back up. And the reason they took it down is it was his drone footage of the drilling pad. Oh. Okay. It's moving, which indicates possibly them working. I haven't examined it close enough. I made a copy of it, and put it, Thank you. Copied it to you. Thank you. And, fr and, Thank you, Randy. and friends who want to follow this, get on Facebook. Get on Facebook. The amount of live feeds from the people is phenomenal. Uh, that's where it comes from. So thank you, Randy. And just blessing blessings. unbound for all of us. Blessings to yeah. you all out there. We'll talk again soon, Christine. I'll see you soon, though. You'll see. We will. We will. All right, will. guys. Stay okay. warm. Well, I will, Randy. And one quick question. You yes. can cut this out. When is Duncan arriving? I don't have a definitive word yet. I'm thinking that he's probably going to get there in a few days. I will try and get a confirmation on that from him. Okay. I, would I will also see that he gets the message to meet you. I, yeah. I mean, I have wanted to meet him for years. I feel deeply connected to him. Right. Well, and, and I just, you know, whatever it is, I just want to sit at the fire with I him. I can just, well, him. I can tell you that if his decision to come is as a result of meeting with his own counsel and okay. the strong feeling that this needs to be resolved. And because Duncan is also Native American as well as Celtic, 
he has blood standing in the land to be an officiant there. Okay. Okay. Well, that's great. That's great. I just hope I get the opportunity to meet him. I it would see, mean a I, lot. I will try to do everything I can to see that that's arranged. Okay. All right, guys. Much love to you okay. all. Much love, Randy. Talk to you again soon. Thank Bye -bye. you for the opportunity to talk. Thank Bye -bye. you.